Everybody says the Prater Classic isn't just a race, it's an event. I, I really think that it's grown bigger than an event. It's more of an experience. I mean, you look on the back stretch and all the fans in, in, in the campgrounds and, and on the back, or on the in vendor row, it's, it just really is an experience. Yeah, I had some people come to Fairbury for the first time ever this year. It seems like that is a new thing that for there are first timers coming to the Predator Classic every year from all corners of the country because of what they've heard about Fairbury. And one of them told me very specifically that what they love so much about Fairbury is it reminds you why you are a race fan. There is something unique and special about Fairbury that it reminds you, it takes you back to being a 10 year old kid again. It takes you back to being a 15 year old, a 20 year old if you're older in life. And it's sort of gives you this experience of insulation from the outside world. No negativity, no sadness, no racing is dead. It's all racing is good, racing is great, and everything is positive. And that's what you feel when you're there. Yeah, you make a you make a pretty good point. Um, it, it just, it feels like a homecoming, you know? I mean, for, for all, I mean, and it's not just for the fans either. I mean, you look at the drivers and they all got the smiles on their face and they, they're enjoying themselves. It's just the entire weekend just feels like a vacation for them. And then they get to race at the same time. I think that was, that that's probably the coolest part of, of Fairbury and the Prairie Classic is just that literally everybody just has a great time and, and everybody can kind of just forget about everything else that's going on and just and just have fun. It does seem like one of those weekends where nobody's mad or angry about anything. Even the guys that don't run good or get run over or struggle. I talked to many of them afterwards and we're going to come back. We'll definitely be back. And you don't hear that at every other major event. There's just something about whether it's like this fountain of youth or like this just um, hits that old line from Field of Dreams as if they dip themselves in magic waters. It just, there's something about it where the negativity hasn't permeated it. Um, and I use the term yet because hopefully it never will, but there's no negativity there. There's no crankiness there. And there's just, it's this old school. It feels like Marshall Green came for the first time and he told me it felt like a big have a Tampa race in 1995 is what he told me because there's just no sadness or negativity when you're at Fairbury. Slider from Jason Finger for the race lead. Moran going to cross him back down the back straight. They're going to work door to door. Oh, baby. Getting good already, Rick. All battle down the back straight. We're looking to go two by two. We are going to go high. Down to the inside is Petola. Oh, Kyle Brunson just got a big piece of Cody Evans and it cost him. Kyle Brunson got into the 4G of Cody Evans. Here comes Fager, here comes Spatola, here comes Winger to the outside. He's going to go to the transfer spot once again. Billy Moore going to look down to his inside. All behind your race leader, Devin Moran. Moran continues to show the way with the battle for second, Michael Clues. Billy Moyer, Mike Spatola. The mailman will deliver here in the Dyer's Top Rod Showdown number one. He'll win it. Jane Clan hooked up and hauling here early on. Bab down to the outside. Battles for second. Clan to the outside. Going to take second. Wow. So Shane Clan will steal second away from Brian Shirley. Now he's oh going to go under attack from Tyler Herb. Herb uncharacteristically on the bottom. Came up short at the start finish line. Clan goes after that. Oh. 
Now we're, oh, and Babs in the wall. Bab climbs the wall, gets on two wheels. Caution is out for Shannon Bab. Fifth and sixth oh, spot. Hornets nest now for the second spot. Tyler Herb is broken, 91. Problems for Tyler Herb. Oh, he just threw it on the top shelf, and it may have cost him, because Unzicker and Shirley are going to go three wide with him down the back stretch. They'll go three wide again in turn number three. Nobody giving up an inch. Clan bobbles a little, but he'll hold the lead. Here winner, race fan Shane Clan wins showdown feature number two presented by Pontiac RV. Chris Smokey Man going to drive her all the way up to the cushion. Can he hold on in 4-4 four, four down the back straightaway? Looking at a good side by side with Chris Simpson on a box for die. Well, they're going to work door to door. They tackle the ball's cushion. Smokey Chris Man going to get on the race lead. As they work up into number four down the front straightaway, Gordy got they're going to hold third. Smokey Man continues to show the way. Gundicker slips up. So Sheppy going to go to third. Gundicker back to fourth. There comes Bobby Pierce. The Illinois boys battling out. Here comes Simpson for Smokey for the race lead. But here comes B. Shep trying to put on a show on the top side. Down the back straightaway. The Rocket House car trying to sell some t-shirts on the top side. Get her done. Young Brandon Shepard. He's hauling them out. Coming to the front here at Falls. Fighting. And they go this time by. It's starting to get fallsy here. The Legion Speedway. Brandon Shepard for the runner-up spot. Down the back straightaway. Simpson and cuts off his momentum. b Shep going to send it over in turn number three. Down the front straightaway, the Rocket House car looks for the runner-up spot. Down the front straightaway, Simpson slams the door in his thing. Just inches between the rear deck lid of Chris Simpson and the front of the one of Shepard, and Shepard is just taking second. So Brandon Shepard's now going to go for broke. He's going for the win. At one time, it looked like he oh might not make God. the show, and now he's all over Chris Madden with eight to go. God bless Falls. Here comes Shepard. Here comes Bobby Pierce. This one's going to be fun. Seven to go. We're going to race leader, Brandon Shepard. Oh, he gets into Chris Madden. Does it work into turns three and four? Madden down to the inside. Shepard right in the middle of the speedway. Here comes Bobby Pierce. Are you serious? It's getting fallsy in feature number three. Seven laps to go, and it's undecided because now Chris Madden took the lead out of two, and then Shepard grabbed it back. All the while, Pierce to the outside of men. Here comes Chris Simpson. They're all going after Shepard, and it's tight. Oh, my God. Oh, and Bobby Pierce and Chris Madden make heavy contact on the front straight away. Here comes Chris Simpson down to the inside. No cut off Ricky Jr. yet. Here comes down the back straight away. Shepard showing the way. Madden second, Pierce third. Then it's the 32 and Chris Simpson. What a battle. Side by side with Bobby Pierce down the back straight away. Brandon Shepard going to dive to the inside and put a lap on Scott Smith. Bobby Pierce going to send it on the high side. Here comes Madden the final time. Brandon Shepard wins. Bobby Pierce second. Third to go to Chris Madden. Fourth to Chris Simpson. Wow. The way Tim McCready going to go to fourth. Goes by Timothy Cole. So the Sweeteners plus Rocket, or excuse me, Longhorn 39 on the move early in the Third spot, T-Mac running in the fourth spot. So, Ferguson and Fergie jumped the cushion. T-Mac's gonna go by, Timothy Colt trying to go by. So, Fergie holding on for the fourth and final transfer spot, but Colt down. battle for the fourth and final transfer spot. T-Mac gonna hold on for third for the time being. Chris Ferguson slipped up again. Timothy Colt trying to go by, they're gonna work door to door. Ferguson gonna go by, Colt back to fifth. The battle's for the fourth and final transfer spot. Fergie slips up again, Timothy Colt can't find a way by Jimmy Owens. Knocking on the door in 20. Keep your eyes on the 20 of Jimmy Owens. Now Colt now to the fourth and final transfer spot. Fergie going to cross him over. A slide job from Chris Ferguson. Colt, Jimmy Owens right there as well. Oh, my. All of for fourth. And Fergie's going to get by. Here comes Owens. Jimmy Owens may be the most solid of the bunch as he takes over the fourth and final transfer spot for a minute, but Colt says not so quick. Now Colt gets assistance from the 22 of Ferguson. Owens may be the quickest car on the Here speedway. Here we go, T-Mac, Jimmy Owens, Rick Ecker, Don O'Neill, Chris Ferguson, all five, almost four, five, one on the front straight away. Are kidding me? Seven to go. Oh, and Mike Marler jumped oh, the cushion. He got in the wall. He's plowing through turn number two. That's Lost all kinds of momentum, and O'Neill just got crowned. To the bumper at 20, Jimmy Owens. Owens down to the inside of McCready, but here comes Kevin Weaver. Going to party like it's 91. Are you kidding me? Kevin Weaver down to the inside. Owens shuts the door on him. T-Mac to the in outside of Eckert. They're going to try the crossover move down the front straight over for the runner-up spot. Side by side for a second behind the hit. Jimmy Owens, Kevin Weaver, and Chris Ferguson. Three, four cars going to dance for the runner-up spot. Who's going to make the Prairie Nerd Classic? Four to go. Marler leads, but it's a gaggle behind him. Look at him off four. Oh, my. Eckert, Owens, here comes Fergie. A late race rebound. Can he do it? White flag the next high by Rick. This one's getting good. Oh, here comes Fergie, Weaver, Eckert, Owens. Oh, my gosh. Who's it going to be? Owens and Eckert trading sheet metal paint again as they work their way out of turn number four. Fergie now steals fourth away from Eckert. Chris Ferguson is in a transfer spot. Final lap, and Ecker wants to go three wide. Why not? 
Three wide out of the back straight away. And a Winfield, Tennessee. The 157 of Mikey Marler is going to win. Second will go to T-Mac. Third down to the line. Jimmy Owens and fourth goes to the 22. It's Fergie. Second ground pounding Craftsman World of Outlaws for the 28th running of the Prairie Deer Classic. We are underway here at Falls. Devin Moran going to go down to the inside. He slides across the track. Shane Clan going to take the race lead down the back straightaway. Clan going to work right in the middle of the speedway. Owen Zucker down to the middle. Devin Moran going to creep to the top side, but Shane Clanton off the lead. Going at it oh. tooth and nail down the back stretch. They fan out now. Clanton on Zinker, Shepard Fager. Oh, we got oh, trouble no. in turn number three. Oh, my. Race fans, we have just built a Waffle House in turn number four because they are scattered, smothered, and covered. Looks to the inside of Clanton. Clanton going to hold him off. It'll be Clanton, Shepard, Unzicker, Fager. Here comes the 22. Chris Ferguson going to go by Ryan Shirley. They get mixed up off the fourth. Now Unzicker down to the inside. He looks for the lead in the Prairie Dirt Classic. They're going to work side by side. Clanton going to hold him off. Traffic hot and heavy. Unzicker down to the inside. They're going to work door to door for the top spot here in the Prairie Dirt Classic. And Ryan Unzicker winning. Here comes Brandon Shepard. Here comes Fager. Here comes Shirley. Marler behind it. And they're almost three wide up into number four for the race lead. Unzicker down to the inside. Clanton on the high side. Side by side with Brandon Shepard for the lead of the Prairie Dirt Classic. Unzicker going to hold him off. Down to the inside, Clan to the outside, Shepard in the middle, three wide for the race leader, the PDC, Unzicker, new race leader, 77 to go. It has been four years, Mike Norris, since an Illinois driver has taken the Prairie Dirt Classic home. Ryan Unzicker leading lap number 23. We're almost a quarter of the way through, three wide for the lead on a turn oh. number four. Oh, and there's no room to fit him. Here comes Brandon Shepard dialing up right in the middle of the speedway. They're three wide down the back straightaway. Clanton, Shepard, and Unzicker putting on a show. Here comes Fager. A slide job from Brandon Shepard for the race lead. He's going to take him on Unzicker. Going to answer back. They're dead even at the stripe. 75 to go. We're only a quarter of the way in. Down the back straightaway. Here comes Unzicker at 24. Brian Unzicker going to run down to the inside of Brandon Shepard. Shepard makes contact with Joe Frank. New race leader, Ryan Unzicker. And the Prairie Dirt Classic will take it. He's won the Prairie Dirt shootout, but now looking for the Prairie Dirt Classic. Down the back straight away. Brandon Shepard going to work to his outside. Unzicker and Shepard married side by side. They're three wide with the lap car. And Joe Frank down the front straight away. New race leader, Ryan Unzicker. 63 to go. Ryan Unzicker and Brandon Shepard putting on a show here. The 28th running in the Prairie Dirt Classic. Unzicker down to the inside. Shepard going to work right in the middle of the speedway. They knife through. Lap traffic, Brandon Shepard back to the race lead. A lot of them open for a caution. A lot of them trying to stay on the uh, lead lap. Unzicker in 24. Shepard on the top of the awesome. caution is out. Here comes a high side hustler, Jason Baker, 56 to go. The cushion a little tricky over and two down the back straight away. Brandon Shepard going to show the way. Now Mikey Marler, Ryan Unzicker, Jason Baker looking to go three wide for the runner-up spot. Chris Simpson going to dive down to the inside of Brandon Shepard. Chris Simpson may have some here tonight. Here he goes down the back straight away. So Chris Simpson now going to get a second over the 25. And Jason Baker maybe the bottom side picking up. Here comes Simpson down to the inside. He's now second. Shepard showing the way. Simpson a second. Baker did not get a good restart. He's back to third. Here comes Oxford, Iowa's Chris Simpson. Oh, wouldn't that be an upset? Devin Moran looking to send it for that second spot. They're three wide for second behind your race leader, Brandon Shepard. 
But Brandon Shepard, awful fast here tonight. Baker trying to run him down at 25 on that high side. He's going to go to second. Simpson back to third. Here comes Devin Moran. Brand really good at these restarts right in the middle of the speedway. Baker now trying to keep pace with Brandon Shepard. Baker to second. Good battle for third. Side by side. Here comes Devin Moran again. They're three wide for the second spot. Baker going to hold on. That is Devin Moran and Chris Simpson down the back straight away. They're working door to door. 21 to go. The battle behind Brandon Shepard. A good one. Baker, Moran, Simpson. Here comes Unziker as well. Devin Moran fell all the way back to 10th early, but the car has come to life, and now he's battling for a podium spot. So Shepard held a 1.772 second lead last lap. This time he streaks across the line. Fager will come by, and it's up to 1.8, so the lead increases for Shepard. The only way anybody is going to beat Brandon Shepard tonight. Side job, big time this time by Devin Moran for second. It may be the nine car. And Devin Moran, he needs a little luck as well. Maybe catch a caution. Devin Moran is flying at the end of this one. Are you serious? The son of a million dollar man. Can he make a bid? The one of Brandon Shepard slips up a little bit, but so does Devin Moran. He's driving like his father did in that million dollar race. He'll get the white flag this time by, he has got one quarter mile left from a $30,000 paycheck. 22 top fives in 26 races. Let's change that to 23 out of 27. His 11th win of the year, the biggest one of the year, the 28th annual Prairie Dirt Classic going to the number one of Brandon Shepard. Harrison, oh, like a madman coming to the front in 24 H. He just went around three cars and one lap down the back straight away. Keep your eyes on Mike Harrison. He's well, ready to crack the top five as Jeffrey Lifford continues to lead. Nick Hoffman in two. Oh, you're going to hold Harrison back in 24. He's not going to go to the outside of Stephen Brooks. Oh, now he's going to throw a slide jab at him. Mike Harrison out of Highland, Illinois. Nick Hoffman's going to clear the 18 of Jeffrey Lifford down the back straightaway. Five of Stephen Brooks going to get on his outside. Nick Hoffman out of Mooresville, North Carolina, going to be your race leader. Here comes Brooks. It could be the Nick Hoffman and Mike Harrison show if Harrison can find a way by Stephen Brooks. Nick Hoffman continues to show the way. That elite chassis out of Mooresville, North Carolina, number two. Down the back straight away go. Setting it up. Who's it going to be? Oh, and Hoffman's going to jump to the high side in front of Harrison. He jumps to Cushion. Oh, they make contact. Off of four down the front straight away. Harrison continues, or excuse me, Hoffman continues to show the way. Harrison going to throw a big slider at him. Hoffman cannot run the cushion. They're door to door. Nick Hoffman going to have to get back down to the inside. So Mike Harrison drives all the way down. A slider from Mike Harrison. He slides across the front stretch. Nick Hoffman continues to show the way. What a race. Here comes Clayton Miller in 15. A three-car dance for $5,000 on the false cushion. Now the back straight away they go. Does Mike Harrison throw the slider? Yes, he does. Way down to the inside. Nick Hoffman slips up. Harrison for the race lead. Clayton Miller's there. Down the front straight away. They're dead even. Wow. So Hoffman still showing the way. Harrison now gets the advantage. Mike Harrison pulls the trigger. He'll go to the lead, but Clayton Miller's right oh there. Here comes Hoffman. Slide job in turn number four. He'll clear the nose. Harrison will come right back. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Clayton Miller trying to put on a show in 15. Harrison for the race lead. He's got it. Clayton Miller looking to go to second, but Nick Hoffman's going to hold him off. Mike Harrison, your 17th starter to the front. 10 to go, Harrison shows the way it falls. Wow. Oh they work side by side now for the second spot. Team Elite gonna battle it out for that runner up spot. Five to go as they try to get some heat in these Hoosiers. Down the back straightaway. The two and Nick Hoff and the 96 of Mike McKinney. The, oh, Josh Rice in trouble and 11 on the back straightaway. We're gonna say green. McKinney now gonna go to second. McKinney hoping for a caution. Five to go as he tries to track down the 24-H of Mike Harrison. H out of Highland, Illinois, defending Dirt Car Modified National Champion. Does it again. Mike Harrison from 17th, your winner.